Welcome to Riverside Tai Chi. Uh, my name is Sifu Jesse Powell. Um, I mentioned in a previous video, uh, you know, some of the health problems that I have and stuff like that, but I just wanted to share with you also some of the experiences I've had with Western medicine, which, you know, I've, I've pretty much lost most faith in Western medicine and uh, recently have been um, relying on Eastern medicine and they are their different methodologies with, you know, acupuncture and uh, things like that. Um, let me just share, share one experience. Um, the, name, the name of the hospital, I don't know if I want to say the exact name of the hospital, but let's just say that uh, it's where Moses got the Ten Commandments from. That mountain that Moses got the Ten Commandments from. Um, that's just a little hint. So, basically, they wanted to do a whole bunch of unnecessary stuff to, I would say, rape my insurance. You know, they wanted to do, like, bone marrow tests and all kind of crazy scans that really had nothing to do with anything just because I had insurance and it wasn't going to help me. It was really actually going to hurt me because to do the bone marrow test, they have to drill into your bones and take the marrow out and you'll have holes in your bones. It's crazy. It doesn't make any sense for something I didn't need at all. So that's why I've pretty much shied away from Western medicine and, and really have um, changed completely and gone really towards Eastern medicine, Chinese medicine in particular. Um, just want to give a shout out to Mark the Bagua Dak Nastrandria and uh, his camp of Musu and it's just, it's just, you know, without him um, I would never have known all of the health aspects that Eastern medicine has. All the time I've been seeing Western doctors, they never mention one thing about food. What to eat, what not to eat, in terms of uh, my particular health issues. That's the first thing you need to know, is, is what's going to do what. And, you know, I've learned a whole lot about, about food and different types of nutrition, not just uh, what a lot of people talk about, the macronutrients and the micronutrients and all that kind of stuff, but how to actually feed the body. You know, I'll, that's a video for another time, we'll do another video on that, but it's just amazing the things that they don't tell you and they just want you to rely on, on drugs that, that have worse, the side effects are worse than what you have. So it's, it, it gets ridiculous after a while and you really have to find alternatives to get yourself better, to get yourself balanced, to get yourself in a position where you're not just surviving, but you're thriving. So really, if you have any issues on about health or, or, or just want to stay healthy, I would suggest looking into Eastern medicine uh, particularly. I mean, you can, you can have your choice. There's various um, options. There's Ayur Ayurvedic, if I'm saying that correctly, Indian medicine, but I'm more um, in line with Chinese um, aspects because of the martial arts. So I understand it better is what I, is my point in that. So just look into alternatives and, and you will feel better, you will have better vitality, and you won't be poisoning yourself with these drugs that they want you to take, if you, especially if you don't really need them. A lot of times you don't need these things. They, they don't really help and they wind up hurting you more. So just look, you know, look into all other alternatives. Um, basically, it, that's what I've been doing. So if you want more information like this, you want more videos, and you like what I've uh, put out there, Take a look down below, click the link for the free Riverside Tai Chi newsletter and sign up today. Um, just want to thank everybody who's been um, subscribing to the channel. I'm actually surprised that uh, anybody subscribed, but uh, thank you, thank you all and um, keep watching.